In the Lesson 1.6 example, How Bad is the Traffic?, we're going to compare the mean to the median. At the beginning of the lesson, we presented a data set on several travel times from 20 randomly chosen New York workers. This is the dot plot. The median is here at 22.5, whereas the mean is at 31.25. Part A asks us to explain why the mean is so much higher than the median. The answer has to do with the shape of the dot plot. We can see a bunch of values clustered around here around 10 to 20 minutes, whereas very few values are up over an hour for their commute. Because the distribution is skewed to the right, the mean is pulled to the right towards the long tail. We can also see that there's a possible outlier here at 85 minutes, and that will have the effect on the mean to make it higher, because it will average in with all the other values. But it doesn't really affect the median all that much, because it's still the highest value, whether it's here, or here, or way out here. Part B of the question asks us to explain which measure of center is a better uh, description of a typical travel time to work. And in this case, it's the median. The median is a better measure of center for this data set because it's skewed. The, the distribution of travel times is skewed to the right. Had this been more symmetric, we would have maybe chosen the mean as the better measure of center. But because it's skewed, we're going to go with the median. And if you look closely, only 7 of the 20 values are above the mean, and 13 are below it. That doesn't really do a great job of representing what's typical. The mean, on the other hand, has 10 fall below it and 10 fall above. That does do a little bit better job of identifying what's more typical. If you'd like to find a problem in your book like this one, you can try exercise 9.